This is the All Saints Church in Peshawar, moments after the explosions. Members of the congregation had gathered for a free meal of rice as part of a service. When some went outside to receive the food, the bombers detonated their explosives. There were many victims. Some, nine or ten, were lying in front of me, while two of the victims were lying on that side. I personally rescued some 70 victims and, with the help of others, put them in the ambulance. Initial evidence suggests the explosives were packed with ball bearings so that those who weren't killed in the blasts were badly wounded. We were praying in church and in the middle of the prayers this blast took place. Too many people have lost their lives. It killed mostly women and children. Christianity is a minority religion in Pakistan with a following of around 4% of the population. In the mainly Muslim country, many Christians try to keep a low profile. Churches have become targets in the recent past. But this incident is the worst to hit the Christian community in many years. Some of the survivors have blamed the security forces for not taking strong enough action to protect them. This was a lapse because during prayers they don't even let Christians enter. How did the suicide bombers come in so freely? This attack took place after prayers. This attack happened because of the negligence of security officials. The Bishop of Peshawar has announced three days of mourning for the victims. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera.